Hey, hey, it's Jose here to slay. <laughs> Where's the? <laughs> I had five interviews since May. Every single one I was turned down for. Now, mind you, I I know how the interview process go. Like at my job, the interview process is pretty much the same for everybody. And the feedback that I was getting for my interviews wasn't legit. One person said that he loves my confidence and I should, you know, make sure I keep that going and blah, 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 so on and so forth. And then another one said that I, I don't have enough confidence. Like, it, it, what is it? If y'all watch my channel enough, y'all already know, like, my confidence is not an issue. So, what the fuck is it? Um, and then, like, another one said, so we had this thing at my job where you have to, it's, it's a certain format that they ask for, and that's how they want you to answer the question so that it's organized, precise, and it's kind of quick and to the point. Now, for my first question that I got, I used that format. But after that, she kind of asked me a question, and the question, the way she asked it, wasn't correct. They want you to use specific words, like they want you to say situation was, task was, action was, results were. Like, I can't do that, you know, without staying, on, staying focused, and she threw me off. And then, like, who talks like that? Do y'all want me or do y'all want me to give y'all a robot? Because I could be a robot and if that gives me a job, then that means that the people that y'all are hiring for these jobs are nothing but people that studied studied a, a fucking pamphlet or packet or whatever y'all asked for. Like, that's not how it's supposed to go. We, you should get hard true facts. You see who these people are and see if they are good people yourself. That is what the interview process to me is supposed to be like. Everybody's coming to me like, you know, I feel like it's discrimination. I feel like it is too. I feel like... There's no reason why I should not have gotten any positions. Any positions. Different positions. Like, there's no reason why I should have gotten anything. I bust my ass at the job. Apparently, I've been there for two years. Two and a half years. I've been there. I've been doing it. I've been killing it. Like, I've been doing everything. They know who I am. They asked me to do certain projects to help in HR and things like that. So, there's no reason why I'm not looked at in that way. They don't hire according to how you, like, work. They don't. They hire you according to how you handle an interview. So it's like, why well, work so hard when I don't really have to? All I gotta do is make good in the interview. Had my interview for, you know, HR, and I was pumped about it because I'm like, you know what, I got this in the bag. And maybe God's telling me, you know, after those four four ones that I didn't get, like this is probably, it, it needed to, t it, it was supposed to take time and I needed to wait and blah, blah, blah. I got all the feedback that I was given and so on and so forth, blah, 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 blah. blah what have you, and I implemented all of that feedback into this interview. I made sure that I, I stuck to, you know, customer service uh, answers because I'm going for HR, they look for customer service answers. I made sure I was precise, I made sure I used the format that they asked for. I did every single thing I was supposed to do. The lady said to my manager, because she wasn't in our building, the lady said to my manager, I think she will be better in operations. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Who the fuck are you to, to determine where I should go? I didn't apply for operations. I applied for HR. That's what I wanted to do. First of all, y'all, just know for, for a fact, I'm not a person of labor. I'm not, you know, muscle strong and all that. I'm not. So, this is why I chose to try to move into a different department. I'm very computer savvy. I'm very good with people, apparently. Um, and so on and so forth. That's why I applied for because I know my skill set. That's why. you. Who the fuck was she to say, I think she would be better in operating? Like, that's not your call to make, Lynn Doyle. That's not for you. Your thing was to say, it was I good at my interview or was I not? Simple. That was my feedback. Are you kidding me? My feedback fucking sucked. For every single one of my interviews, they fucking sucked. I quit. <laughs> like, I don't have any more fight left in me for something that I don't even want to do. And it just reminded me, like, yo, this is God is telling you this is not for you. This is not your this is not your calling. So stop trying to get comfortable here because comfortability is gonna keep you stuck here. Take those notes, y'all. Write that down. Cause it's real. Like comfortability is your enemy. It doesn't last forever and it does not. And if you are, you know, you have your dreams in your mind or you even have a little inkling of what you might wanna do, 
pursue that honestly because that's the that's the wave I'm back on now. This is why I'm putting so much effort into my videos and stuff because I am an entertainer. When I was in the Bahamas, when I tell you that by the second day they all knew my name, that's how it was and it's always like that wherever I go because I'm just me, it's just what I do. So I feel like if you have a dream and you have something that you want to pursue, pursue it. Like, don't think about, now mind you, I have a kid, I have bills, I got a whole bunch of stuff going on, and you know, I'm probably gonna be in a fucking hole soon, or be going, be stressed out because of bills and whatever the case may be, I know it's coming. But my sanity, my happiness, versus a couple bills and a little bit of stress. Like, I, pre I prefer to take that loss than to sit there and continue to to do something that's bringing me down. The way I felt when he told me that I did not get the position and why I didn't get it, I was about to cry. And it's not because, oh, you didn't get the position. I could take a loss, I can. But it was just the reason, and it's just like, damn, like, that's not big enough. It's not big enough. None of the stuff that they told me, my as far as my feedback goes, was strong enough to say you can't have this job. But all in all, I'm grateful for it. Because if it did not happen, I swear I would not even be, I wouldn't probably be making a video right now. I'd probably be asleep because I'm tired from work. Because my job was 10 hours a day, four days a week. It, I mean, cute little schedule. I ain't work on weekends and I had a three day weekend, so on and so forth. It's cute, but that's not, a, it's not a move for me. It's not a goal for me. It's not a, a future for me. So, not good. So, I said uh, no more. Fuck it. I'm, a, I'm winging it. I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm a people person. I'm going to get me. You know, it, getting a job is not a problem. It's, my issue is following my dreams and being scared of success. And it, it sounds weird, but it's real. Like, people are scared to... You're scared of success because you're scared to fail. That's me. That is what I am going through. I'm scared to fail because I failed before. I've gone up and got down and be knocked all the way to the bottom. My problem isn't, you know, doing it is just keeping up with it and being consistent. Please comment down below what you guys want to hear or other videos that you've seen other YouTubers do and you think I should do on my channel. Let me know, y'all get involved and let's do this together. Let's make a brand for us. I wanna start doing, it's kind of like an advice column also because I'm the shit when it comes to advice. Like psychology was my major, like it was something I was really into because I'm really good at it. I'm always the, the friend that they go to for advice and things of this nature. So if you guys have any questions and it does not need to be trans related, don't think just because I am, that's the only thing I, I support. I support people, love, happiness, Anything that you're going through, if you need any kind of uplifting or a word or whatever the case may be, I'm here for that. Like, email me. Let me know. And we'll start doing things where, you know, in in the, the subject box when you email me or you Snapchat me or whatever the case may be, let me know if it is okay to post your questions on my channel. Not giving names and not being specific, but just as a general thing. We can help other people that are going through the stuff that you're going through. Comment, subscribe if you are new. Love me because I have some shit. Go watch my other videos because some things was a, a different story. Hello. Um, and I got a story time coming up. My story time I may do today. I think I, I'm gonna do it today because what else the fuck am I doing? It's not like I'm at work. Hello. Um, <laughs> yes, make sure you guys turn on your notifications to get everything that I post. And the videos at the top, there are past videos that you guys have missed. Make sure you click on those and check those out. I just want to say that I love, 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 love you guys. Be true to you.